What's going on, everybody? It's me, Daniel, your Lord and Savior. I'm here with another movie review. Uh, yesterday, I went and saw the new Saw. I, I saw the new Saw. Anyway, um, it's called Spiral. Uh, I don't know if you've been living under a rock. It's the newest Saw movie. It's kind of like a. It's not. It's a reboot, but it's 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 it takes place after the first few movies. Um, so it, it's a reboot, but it's not. So like, if you're a new fan, you can walk back into this and be pretty pretty surprised by it, honestly. Um, so I'm, I'm just kind of going to start it off with the good, go to the bad. Um, there's not a lot of bad, to be honest with you, about this movie. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of throw my opinions in there mixed in. Um, so starting off, uh, this movie, it's got Chris Rock, Samuel L. Jackson's in it. Um, now, f just just starting off, when I first saw the teaser trailer for this a couple years ago before COVID hit, this movie's been delayed like four or five times. Um but it's finally out, and uh, when I first saw the teaser to this movie, and it showed Samuel Jackson and Chris Rock, and it said Chris Rock was co-directing it or co-writing it or something like that, I was really turned off. Um, and that's not because I think Samuel Jackson and Chris Rock are bad. I, I think they're great. I think Chris Rock's one of the funniest people in the world, and I think Samuel Jackson's one of the funniest people in the world. But the problem is, like, you're you're making like a you're gonna have these comedians like or these funny guys, you know, be be a part of, like, this grisly Saw type of movie. I thought originally, like, judging book by its cover, that it was going to be terrible. Um, they put a lot of effort into this. Like, they really did. I, I feel like Chris Rock especially put a lot of effort into this. Uh, after after what I was hearing after the movie came out about, like, the behind the scenes on how he was very involved. Um, he's a huge Saw fan, so he was really, like, into like, changing things up. And they did. They did a lot of new shit in this movie, and they did a lot of, like, kind of stale stuff, but it's Saw, so what do you expect? Um, so what I, the, the movie pretty much, uh, it, it technically takes place like 15, 20, like, I think it's like 15 years, they don't really say exactly, it, it takes place about as much time as from the third Saw releasing to now pretty much, so like 15 years, like 10, 15 years, um, it's pretty much the same premise as every other Saw movie, there's somebody who's pretty much torturing people in their own way of justice, um, Chris Rock is a detective, uh, the lead detective on the case to find the new Jigsaw. Um, I do suggest before you watch this review or before you kind of jump into this movie, I suggest watching the first three Saw movies. Uh, I know there's like eight or nine of them now. I know this is like the ninth one technically. Um, I will say like I, I love Saw one. I thought it was amazing. I thought the tension it built. I thought the the ending was crazy. The the Everything about it was just really cool. It was really unique. Saw 2 was a little... Eh, and then Saw 3 kind of felt more like a sequel to Saw 1 than Saw 2 did. Um, I really liked both Saw 1 and 3. 2 was okay. Um, the director that is doing this one, though, Spiral, was the director of 2 and 3, which is a um, pretty good feat because he's 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 a good director. He's, he's not bad at all when it comes down to it. Like I said, I didn't hate the second movie. I just didn't think it was the best. Uh, really good torture scenes in that one, but... Uh, I like the story of Saw a lot. Like I like the the I like just like the the Jigsaw stuff and like all that stuff. Um, after three, it kind of turned into like a scream type of thing where like everybody's the killer, somebody's a killer. You know, it was like if you could catch this person in one of the frames of the movie, he's probably the killer. Uh, it, it's just cheesy in a way. So I think what they tried to do here, um, I, I could be completely wrong about it, but I think what they did here is they kind of continued off of three. They kind of just said, ah, fuck it to four, five, six, and seven, because those were kind of shit anyway. Um, I like that they did that, because like I said, I thought the last good Saw movie was three. So that's cool that they kind of continued off of that. Um, but the movie's about a uh, detective that's pretty much hard-boiled on the case. Um, the movie does a lot of... It, it, you could tell a story's already been established with the Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson's characters. Um, the movie, throughout the movie, you get flashbacks of like what happened before to make them so, make them the way they are now, which is cool. I like little flashback segments and everything like that. Um, the movie's pacing did really well. I, I thought from start to finish, it was pretty good. There were moments of, you know, obviously you're gonna, in Saw, you're gonna get your moments of like, the torture scenes and stuff like that. They were pretty good in this movie. I thought they went back to the roots a little bit more. They didn't really go all in like the four, five, six, and seven did. The the last four movies or whatever did. Uh, they didn't like. They weren't like over the top about the gore. You know what I mean? Like I, I, it was over the top in a way. Like there's a part where dude's fingers are getting ripped out of his out of the sockets and stuff like that. It was pretty fucked up. But like it was to me like after watching all the Saw movies. 
it was a little underwhelming sometimes. Like some of the some of the scenes were a little underwhelming. But to be honest, like like I said, this is kind of a reboot in a way. You know, they went back to the the, the roots of it, and a lot of the shit that they were doing to like the torture that they were doing to the people was pretty realistic compared to the stupid ones that we've had in the past. So they did a really good job with that. You know, I, I, I like the, I like the gore. I thought it was pretty good. It was gory. You know, it's not for kids. Like if you're, if you're scared to take your kid to a gory movie, don't take him to see this. It's, I thought this was gorier than Mortal Kombat was. And that's, that's saying a lot. So, um, I thought they did a really good job with it. The acting was pretty good. Um, normally saw movies are really fucking cheesy and really like just, horror movie horrible I thought the acting was pretty good I thought every character was pretty good in it um I did have one minor problem with uh Samuel Jackson's character I felt like he didn't get a lot of time like there wasn't a lot of like time for him to be involved in the movie which is fine because he's not the main actor or anything in it Chris Rock was in it the whole time which is which is great and like I said before I thought Chris Rock was really fucking good he was funny in the beginning of the movie and then you can tell how he progressively gets more serious about what's going on in, in, in his city that's happening. Um, I don't want to spoil too much of the movie, but I will say from the first teaser trailer I saw for this movie, I predicted who the bad guy was from the beginning. That kind of fucked me over a little bit because the second the movie started and I saw the person, I was like, that's the killer. And it was. And that, that kind of sucks when you can predict something like that. So I, I will give this movie a bad strike for being way too fucking predictable. Um, like I said, I, that's coming from somebody who liked the first three Saw movies. I thought the first movie's ending was very surprising. I didn't expect it to go the way it did. Um, so that, that was kind of disappointing. Um, an, another thing that's a little bit disappointing about this movie, it's got a very cliffhanger ending. Uh, it pulls a Saw where it's just like, it ends abruptly. And it's like, da na da na It's just, it's, it, it's annoying. But they set it up for sequels, and that's fine because it is kind of a reboot. Um... The way they set it up for the sequel, though, like when the movie abruptly ended, I was kind of just like, oh, that sucks. That's a bad way to end it. But then when I'm in the car driving home, I'm thinking to myself, like, hmm, they could go anywhere with this. This is pretty cool. So I did appreciate things about it. There was also things I didn't like about it. But, like, the things I didn't like were overshadowed by the things I did like. So that's good. That's always a good thing. Uh, like I said, I liked the acting. Um, the gore was pretty good. Um, acting was fun, like I said. I, I mean, there there wasn't... There wasn't a lot of bad about this movie. And what's crazy about a movie like this is like Rotten Tomatoes, for instance, it's getting terrible reviews, but the audience loves it. And I think that's the kind of that's what this movie kind of is. I don't think it's like the perfect movie. It's not really that scary either. Like there's jump scares here and there, just like any other Saw movie. But it's mostly just like characters like with the camera in their face and they're like looking around and then suddenly a bag goes over their head and that's supposed to scare you. Uh, it startles you sometimes, but it's not a lot. You know what I mean? Um there were some good, like I said, there were good torture scenes. There were some good, there were some gruesome scenes. It was pretty good. Um, abrupt ending, meh. Um, it's not a lot, of, I, can, I don't want to spoil anything, so there's not a lot I can say about this movie. But I do suggest going to see this movie. It was a fun theater experience. Um, I, it was annoying because a lot of the people, like, like I said, I predicted who the bad guy was from the beginning. I do that with every Saw movie where I predict shit. And, and again, the last time I didn't, wasn't able to predict the killer in a Saw was Saw 3. So, um, that's pretty much it. I, I mean, if I have to rate this movie, um, I would, I'd probably give it like a seven and a half, maybe even an eight. Uh, I liked it. I did. Uh, I'd watch it again, to be honest with you. I, I'd watch it again to catch up and have fun with it. Again, you do not have to watch four, five, six, and I think the one's seventh is called Jigsaw. Don't watch those. They're awful. Um, if you want to see like torture scenes, over the top torture scenes, go ahead and watch those. I do suggest watching one, two, and three to get a little context on things. Um, other than that, like I said, I don't want to spoil a lot, so I'm going to keep this pretty short. Uh, this might be my shortest review yet, to be honest with you. So I suggest going to see it. I give it like a 7.5. Um, it was fun. It was a good time to watch it. It was pretty all right ending, good acting, uh, good gore. It, it was fun. It was really fun. It's something, it's a nice, it's something to go see in theaters and it, it's, Good enough to spend 10 bucks on. So uh, hopefully this review helped everybody out a little bit if you were on the fence about seeing it or not. Um, if you're like me and you're good at predicting things, don't watch the preview. Just go see the movie. It's pretty good. Again, 7.5. Thanks for watching. Bye.